Hi guys and welcome to the part 2 of all node explain tutorial series. In this part we will explain all the shader node that exist in Blender. It's used for creating quick materials. A full material is made of a huge node setup but for the basic result we can use the shader singularly. Sounds interesting? So let's get started. So add a spare and then go to the sharing tab and add a new material. So we can find the shaders here at the material tab and also in the node editor window by pressing shift A and then shaders. So let's delete the default shader and shift A and start with a past shader named as add shader. Add shader is a node which helps to add two shaders for one output. So we can use two different shaders and we can get one single output. Diffuse shader. A diffuse shader determines the general color of material when light shines on it. So we can use it for adding a very simple color for an object. And I think that's why this was the default shader before Blender 2.8. Emission shader. The emission node is used for material and light surface output. We use it when we need to light up a surface like as you can see on the screen right now. Gloss Shader The Gloss BSDF is used to add a gloss, like shader mixing refraction and reflection at greasing angles. Like the transparent shader, only pure white will make it transparent. Glossy BSDF The Glossy BSDF node is used to add reflection with micro phase distribution, used for materials such as metal or mirror. Holdout Shader The Holdout Shader node is used to create a hole in the image with zero alpha transparency, which is very helpful in compositing. Note that the Holdout Shader can only create alpha when properties render film transparency is enabled. If it disabled, the Holdout Shader will make it black. Mix Shader A mix node is used to mix two shaders together. Mixing can be very useful for material layering, where the factor input may for example be connected to a blend weight node. Principal BSDF It's a huge node where we get most of the control like we can add any kind of texture, any kind of node very easily. And we also get metallic, specular, roughness, emission and many more at the same time. It's easy to make quick materials like metal, plastic, silver, etc. Principal Volume Principal Volume is a physically based volume shader that can be used to create a wide range of ma volume materials. It supports scattering, absorption and emission in one easy node. We use it for fog, dust, clouds or something related. Refraction BSDF The Refraction BSDF is used to add a glossy refraction used for material that transmit light. For the best result, this node should be considered as a building block and not used to be by its own. But rather mix with a glossy node using a Fresnel Factor Subsurface Scattering Subsurface Scattering node is used to add a simple subsurface multiple scattering. We use it for materials such as skin, wax, marble, milk and other. Translucent BSDF The translucent BSDF is used to add diffuse transmission. Transparent BSDF The transparent BSDF is used to add transparency without refraction, passing straight to the surface so if there were no geometry there. Useful with alpha maps, for example, the shadow effect light paths somewhat differently than other BSDF. Volume Absorption The Volume absorp Absorption node allows light to be absorbed on it passes through the volume. Typical use for the node would be water and color glass. Volume Scatter the volume scatter node allows light to be scattered on it passes through the volume. 
Typical use would be add fog to the sense. It can also be used with the volume absorption node to create smoke. So this note ends our second part. Hope you learned something new. If yes then hit a like and subscribe because I appreciate it a lot. So thanks for watching to the end. Bye.